Today, I'm going to make a venison roast in the crock pot. Alright, so like four years ago, um, I was making, I made a very similar recipe with the venison roast in the crock pot. It actually somehow turned out to be one of my most popular videos. And in that video, this little girl was a baby. That was actually one of her first bites of venison ever. Um, and now she's all grown up. It's going to be her, well that must have been three years ago, because it's going to be her fourth birthday in five days. You going to be four? Yeah. So she's going to help me cook this today. It's basically the same recipe. I've changed a couple things that I think made it a lot better and I just wanted to make kind of an updated version because that was um, a couple years ago, the video, I was in a smaller kitchen. Uh, she was running around or crawling around screaming. Um, it was just loud and busy and I wanted to make an updated version uh, with the updated recipe showing you guys how I like to make a venison roast in the crock pot. It'll turn into like a really creamy, nice stew. So we're going to get started. The first thing I need to do is um, season up this this piece of venison and uh, get it crusted up in the pan over the stove. Alrighty, so to season this up before I uh, put it on the on the skillet here, I'm using Johnny Hunter's Blonde. This is one of my all-time favorite seasonings. Uh, just a really good seasoning, so I use it on just about everything, but especially uh, wild game, and I'm gonna season it pretty liberally here. Alright, so this roast is actually out of a buck that I shot down in Texas this year. That video, unfortunately, I don't think will ever make it to my channel, but it will probably come out on the um, Alpha Dog Nutrition channel. I killed a deer down there. We shot a pile of cranes, ducks, um, doves, pigeons, uh, I think even a couple of hogs and a coyote. So, um, and, and we didn't get any foxes yet. But, so this uh, roast came off the buck I shot down there. But and we saw Yeah, we did see a fox when we jumped in the bottle, but what is this? It's a buck! It's a buck meat? Is that your favorite thing for dinner? Yeah. What did you just say? Why do you want to get bigger and bigger? So I can be hunting. So what, you want to grow up and be a hunter? You're gonna be a big hunter when you grow up? Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah. Yeah, watch your yeah. All right, so what this is accomplishing is it's gonna give this piece of meat a really nice crust just for some texture. So we're not obviously trying to cook it here. This is gonna go in the crock pot. We just wanna get it actually burned around the outside. All right, so this is going to be my helper here. Yeah, watch your head on these lights. So I've got this piece of meat. It's uh, browned on all the sides. It's got a nice uh, crust to it. So what we're going to do, Dessa, can you help me? I quartered up an onion here. Yeah. Can you help me put these in the crock pot? I just kind of quartered up one onion, and I'm putting this in the bottom just to kind of get the meat sitting up off of it at first. All right, where did my tongs go? Alrighty, now we got our... Why do you put it on top of the onions? That's how we cook it. Oh. Okay, so we got a big old venison it's roast. It's really yummy and tasty. <laughs> yeah, it is. We got a big old roast we're going to throw in there. <laughs> Alright. You've had this a bunch of times, Tessa. You yes. love this. Yeah, I love that. Alright, so now one thing I've changed about this recipe, I'm just using beef broth today from the store, venison stock, any type of uh, broth would be great. But I actually use quite a bit less beef broth, so I'm just going to basically, I don't know, this was about a quarter of this box. Kind of want to get, um, make sure the whole bottom's full, maybe about cover, coming up the meat just like a, a tiny little bit. I'm not a big uh, measurements guy, as you will learn. Alright, and now 
We've got our onion soup mix. Lipton makes the best onion soup mix. So I'm just going to do... Dad, yeah. don't be silly. <laughs> Thank you, babe. All right. One packet of onion soup mix. All right, and the last thing for right now is one can, 10 and a half, half ounce can of cream of mushroom. I'm going to get this all in there. And then I'm just going to kind of stir this up a bit and get all that mixed in. And that is all we need to do for right now. Alright, so to look about like that right now, all we need to do now is give this thing some time. We're going to plug in our crock pot, um, cover it up, and let it go for I would guess three to four hours or so until this meat starts getting a little bit tender and starting to uh, be able to pull apart. Then we'll come back, we'll add another can of uh, cream of mushroom with the rest of our veggies and it'll make a super nice creamy um, broth stew and it'll all mix together. The veggies will be nice and crispy and it'll be super delicious. Dessa loves it, right? video shoot so I have it on high and I can already tell it's drying out the meat a little bit more than I'd like. It's certainly not like dry but it's not quite as juicy and slow cooked as if you were to do it on the low for like six, eight hours. Um, but it's, it's starting to get to where you can peel it apart so what we're going to do, hey, <laughs> this is stealing our ingredients. Um, what I'm going to do now at this point is first of all I'm going to add a couple, two, three, you know, I don't know, about that much Worcestershire. I don't measure anything, but a good bit there. I'm also going to add a second can of cream of mushroom. This is going to make it help make it just really creamy um, and a little bit thicker of a liquid. And then, all right, Tessie, I need your help now. we got to put all these veggies in. i got some chopped up potatoes, onions, and celery. Oh, throw it in gentle, babe. You think this is going to be really nummy? Mm -hmm. This is going to be really nummy. Obviously, you can just slide this in all at once, but when you got a little girl that wants to help. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to throw a couple more dabs of Worcestershire sauce. Alright, now I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. Our meat, I just... <gasps> Peeled that off, no problem. So you, that's how I knew it was about ready. And this will take, I'm gonna let it go for about another hour. I honestly have never done this on high before, so I don't know exactly what to expect. But once these, this meat continues to break down even more, um, we should be good to go with a nice, creamy venison stew. Alrighty, so it has been about an hour since we added our veggies, and Jaden's now home. Desi's here. Are you excited to try the buck meat? Yeah. And again, I'm cooking this on high instead of low today. Um, I definitely prefer it on low, I think. It is pulling apart. Like I can easily just pull a piece of meat like that. So I'm just gonna tear this meat apart and uh, we'll let the kids give it a taste test. Alrighty, I just got little bowls out because it's not quite dinner time. Um, I would have liked to have let this go for just a little bit longer, uh, but I really, 
really got to get on the road here. Um, I'm going to Illinois tonight for a shoot. So, what I'm gonna do is we'll taste test it right now. It's definitely you know plenty done. It's gonna be delicious, but I'll uh, leave it cook for my parents and the kids tonight, um, and they'll eat it in a couple hours, and it'll be even better and even more tender. And this is Daddy's buck meat, and he always shoot bucks. I always shoot bucks. Yeah. All right. Mm. Nice and creamy. Really like the broth. The meat's very good. The veggies are still, they're plenty crunchy. I, I, like I said, I would, I would have let this go on. Careful. I would have liked to have let this go yeah. for a little bit longer. But. And this is daddy's buck meat food. Mm -hmm. So we can Here. eat it. We'll give. And Dude, we only do bucks a lot. And Should we let grandma give it a try? No! Come on over here, grandma. No, don't eat my food. I'll share. I'll share mine. Can I have some buck meat? Yes. Come here, Grandma. My mom is the best cook in the world, so. It's very good. Very tender. Can I have a bite of yours? Mmm. -mm. We can have some more. I can have some more, but we don't have some for supper tonight. Here you go. Here you go, Grandma. Well, thank you, sweetie. Are you sharing? Yeah. What does Jaden think? Jaden is about the pickiest eater in the world. I would agree. <laughs> what do you think? And What's your, do you like the vegetables in there? The celery, too? What do you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, Jaden? 9.8. Ooh. Ooh. So... <laughs> That is a hard score to come by. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so like I said, I already shared a recipe very, very similar to this. Super easy. Just brown your meat, put it in a crock pot um, with some stock and cream of mushroom, uh, add your yeah. onion soup and veggies and all that. Um, I like doing that second can of cream of mushroom soup towards the end. It just makes it I think a little bit more creamy and uh, less brothy. So. I really like it. I've got to hit the road. This will cook for a little bit more. You guys can have it for dinner tonight. All right, thanks, Daddy. What do you say? That's supper, Daddy making supper. I love you, Daddy. Oh. You what do you th What do you think, Dessa? Good. What are you eating? Breakfast. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. I'm gonna do my best to try to come up with some more content. I got some more recipes I wanna try that I'm super excited about. Spring is coming, it's almost time for trout fishing. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I do a lot more like updates there on just what we're doing every day. Lately it's been a lot of the dogs and that, um, but all my hunting, fishing, everything I do, I'm much more active on Instagram and Facebook. So I'll put those links below. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and See you in the next one. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>